Hey guys, for today's video, I'll be showing you guys all of the secret places and easter eggs around a new map of Real Citizens. Ever since the release of the new map, the developers have hinted that they have added easter eggs and secret places all across the map. Now that a few days have passed since its release date, it's about time for me to reveal to you guys all of the secret places and easter eggs of the map. Let me know in the comment section if you guys found anything interesting and be sure to leave a like and subscribe since it really helps out the channel. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Alright, so the first secret place is right over here. It's right near the neighborhood area of the map. You just have to drive up a little bit along this road until you get all the way up here. Once you're here, just go right into the mountain and you can see this huge super secret bunker right inside. Right below this bunker is like this small underwater cave. Inside the bunker are a lot of things that you may recognize from the bunker in the old map, like the bulletin board, the crates, and the ray gun. This place looks a lot like the secret bunker that was part of the old map, and it's a really cool looking place for you guys to hang out with friends or hide from cops. Okay, so for the second easter egg, you'll be located right over here. You may have to do a little bit of climbing though, but on the top of this mountain, you'll be able to find some director chairs. These chairs have the names of all the developers that worked on the game. So moving along to the inside of the school, there's this very tiny easter egg right here. It's just some random blue frog and I'm not too sure what the significance is but people have called it an easter egg in the past so I'll just call it for what it is. Right close to the school is another easter egg, you just go up the stairs a little bit and climb up this hill, you can see that there is this very tiny model of buildings of real city from the old map, it just brings back those good old memories. The next easter egg is hidden right over here, right on the edge of the map. If you're playing during the summer season or the spring season, you can see that this tree is the only one that is not green. Some of the developers would consider this tree to be the official tree for tree gang, which is like some cult. Or I mean some group of people who just really really like trees. Anyways, not so many people know about this tree since it's located right on the edge of the map and it's also covered by mountains. You can only find it when you're playing a game in a particular season like summer. So yeah, super cool find. 
Just right behind it is a super cool secret place that not many people know about since this is not marked anywhere on the map. It's sort of like a large cave system with a purple lake in it. A peculiar thing that they've added is this little car that looks like a banana just right near the entrance of it. Not sure why it is here or the significance behind it, but it's pretty interesting to look at for sure. Anyways, this place is just a beautiful place to visit and hang out with your friends if I could say so myself. So the next easter egg that I'll be showing you guys is this one over here right next to the dam. You walk over this area here in the sand you can clearly see a patch of grass that looks a lot like a character from a Pixar movie that we all know and love. On the lake just right next to the dam is a mini cargo boat that has the letters F and B on it. It probably stands for the name of the creator of our citizens which is Firebrand. Alright so we're all the way over in the desert now. There are plenty of easter eggs that the developers have hidden in this part of the map. The first one will be located around in this area. If you just climb up on this plateau, you can see that someone has left behind a dining set right on top of here. Not sure why they would do that and why it would be all the way up here, but I find that really funny. In addition to that, there are a bunch of rocks that are shaped to look like faces. Not sure it was done intentionally by the developers, but it does look very interesting. The first one is right here. Then we have this large super angry one right far off the edge of the map. And right on the same mountain is something that looks a lot like Spongebob's face, except a bit more cursed. Another easter egg is right near the beach. Here's the only fire hydrant in the map that is rusty. All of the other ones are located around the city and appear to have a bright red color to them. Now over the airport is something pretty cool. Right in this little hangar, there's this airplane that's made entirely from cardboard boxes and building blocks. You can make this by using the furniture items that are available in the game as well. If you were to be 
driving along the edge of the map over here, you can see that there's a semi-transparent monkey head embedded to the side of the mountain. There's also something that looks like this over in the museum, but this one is just hidden rather than on display. Anyways, that seems to be pretty much every single secret place and easter egg that are a part of the Doom map. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Also, let me know in the comments if you found anything else that is pretty cool and worth mentioning about. If you guys like this sort of videos, I'll definitely consider making a part 2 if the developers decide to add in more easter eggs. Anyways, that's pretty much all I have for this video. I hope to see you guys in my next video.